John Edwards is a free man tonight after a hung jury ended a trial that laid bare a scathing scandal involving an affair on the presidential campaign trail, a mistress with his secret baby, and a dying wife on the verge of a breakdown. Tonight, the woman at the center of it all sits down with 2020 co-anchor Chris Cuomo to tell her side of that story. I don't regret falling in love, and I don't regret loving him, nor do I regret our, our daughter. She's the other woman in one of the biggest political sex scandals of our time. Now, Riel Hunter is coming out of the shadows telling her story in a new book called What Really Happened. So he rounded the street corner and it came out of my mouth, you're so hot. It began in 2006 with a chance encounter in New York at a time Edwards was seriously considering a run for the White House. Did you go there looking for John Edwards? No. What would follow is what Riel calls the most extraordinary night of her life, though she thought it was just a one night stand. Riel was now involved with a married man, and not just any married man. John Edwards. Whose 30 year marriage to wife Elizabeth seemed the stuff of fairy tales. But Riel says what she was told was something very different. Their marriage was ruined before I got there, years before I got there. He tells you there have been other women in his life. Yes, I was not the first. And while Edwards is out on the campaign trail keeping up the family man image. She's the most <laughs> extraordinary person I've ever known. Hunter is hiding out in hotels, waiting for secret rendezvous with the man she calls Johnny. That is a great speech. <laughs> Eventually, she even joins him on the trail as his behind the scenes videographer. Edwards is now one of the top candidates for the Democratic nomination. But soon, things get even more complicated. Riel learns she's pregnant, and the National Enquirer is closing in on the story, eventually snapping these photos. It leads them into an elaborate cover-up. Riel goes into hiding under the care of Edward's close aide, Andrew Young, who would claim he's the father of Hunter's baby. Why did you let it happen? Uh, that's my biggest mistake. It was my fear that if I said no, if something happened, he would blame me. And she says that need to protect her daughter is the reason for writing this book. Frances Quinn Hunter was born in February of 2008 in Santa Barbara. On her birth certificate, her father's name is left blank. Where's John Edwards? I don't know where he was exactly. He wasn't with me. Isn't he supposed to be there? He knew I was having the baby. He could have come if he wanted. But I'm not going to say you have to be there. It would be a month before Edwards would see his daughter at a secret meeting at the Beverly Hilton Hotel, the same place where months later, the Inquirer would finally get its proof. What were you thinking? But here on Nightline in 2008, Edwards answers the damning evidence with his most brazen lie of all. A report has been published that the baby of Miss Hunter is your baby. True? Not true. Not true. Happy to take a fraternity test and would love to see it happen. For Hunter, the denial is a crushing betrayal. The difference in pain is, you know, times a million. Hunter is remarkably forgiving of John Edwards, but in her book, she's less sympathetic to his wife, Elizabeth, whom she describes as an emotionally abusive spouse who seemed unwilling to accept the truth that John was Quinn's father. What do you think the reaction is when the woman who's sleeping with the husband starts talking about the wife who is now dead from cancer. There are a lot of people that go, wow, I understand. I get it. And there are a lot of people who will be outraged. And I feel for both my daughter and for all the kids involved, their father's not a demon and their mother's not a saint. And I'm not a homewrecker. We're real human beings and we all made mistakes. Yes. But there is one person in this drama who made no mistakes, little Quinn Hunter, who is now four years old. How is he as a father? He's a really great dad. Really, really great. Do you want to see a day where John Edwards publicly acknowledges, this is Riel Hunter. She's the love of my life. She's the woman in my life. Um, I don't know the answer to that. I think that I do. I think the answer to that is yes. For Nightline, I'm Chris Cuomo in New York.
Braille Hunter's book, What Really Happened, is in stores next week. Our thanks to Chris Cuomo.